Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for another video on Dota Underlords with the first season. Uh, something that I haven't actually taken a look at just yet is the city crawl, although uh, off screen I did take a look at it and basically what's happening is that you can um, do some extra missions in order to try and uh, progress. I'm not really sure what this unlocks exactly, uh, but we have a number of uh, things that we can do. And so as a result, for instance, we can see... Uh, Queen of the Damned. Win a match against Heartless to gain control of the district. Let's give that a try. Let's press fight and see if um, we get like an NPC fight. It really does look like it. Okay, we should be able to do that then. And against Heartless, uh, so we've got pretty low armor. I'm guessing something like Warlocks could be pretty strong here with their healing. So we're going to take that and let's see what happens here. We get a little bit of gold. We also get an item. So we're going to give that to you. And there's my spider as well. Let's see if we got any upgrades or anything that would help. Another warlock would help. I can still add one more character. Although a heartless, something like the budge would help as well. So maybe I'll hmm, b buy him for now. And then we'll see what else. Okay, yep. If budge becomes a tier 2, he comes into play. And let's see if we get any more upgrades. That's nice. Next one next one that is it and so we're up against the heartless with they have three tier twos i only have two of them this is gonna be interesting uh, but i also do have uh Anna six which makes a pretty big difference and in fact i'm gonna put her all the way back here to try and uh, protect her as long as possible let's get going and let's see how this goes should be decently doable especially when we hook the ranger so that's their Speed bone is gone. Now we get the shield, so my tank will be taken out. And oof, man, that's not good. Can my golem make the difference? Another shield. And a six is down. I'm actually gonna lose this one. Interesting. That's never happened before. So let's see what happens because of that. Round two. So maybe we get. Oh yeah, yeah. We we still have potentially a chance and we can go up to eight uh, let's see what we can have of course so a necros for an extra warlock would be good here and then we need so some more things that'll survive for a little bit i guess let's see uh that's good that's great that's good uh what would i like maybe another an insect i think could help um or we also take the life stealer they already have life still, so I think that this will work with the chance that I get one. Another one is pretty small. Uh, we could still go for these upgrades. That's not very tanky except for the bristle. So I'll do one more. See if we get something worth it. I guess I'll buy the jug here. Just to have E warrior, although they, they have jug as well. Um, and then I will... Uh, maybe we need to save this to get more tier trees and you get that and then I think we'll put the tank a little bit more on this side a bit more damage here as well let's proceed to combat can we do this round and they have pretty much the same from the looks of it we get a little bit of healing here which is nice tank is still holding somewhat and I think this time we will have a victory. Yep, not a problem. And so next up, final round. Let's hope that we can get some more tier trees. That would of course make us super strong. The age of and we can get two more as well. Let's see here. Tier three, that's awesome. Um, we could go for Omni Knight. I think it'd be interesting enough. Uh, or we could... Ooh, and then a Troll Warlord. You know what? We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Um, and then see if we get more upgrades. We do get an upgrade. Get another one. A Disruptor would be good as well. Maybe instead of the Spider. Although she's decently frontline. Let's see what we get here first. Uh, Sand King. Okay. That's another upgrade. Let's see if we get 
Anything, um, yeah, so it's worth it to sell these two since normally we're in the final round. Get a spider upgrade. Let's proceed. They also took the Troll King all the way at the back here and he's tier 2. So they do get extra upgrades but no tier 3s so this ought to be somewhat one-sided. So there we go. A bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is going alright. And if we then return to the city crawl, that should unlock more stuff. And so this is with the Ana 6. I can claim this. And then here there is stuff that's locked, right? Uh, earned a reward. Okay, fine. Challenge locked. Uh, unlock the season 1 battle pass to gain access to the entire city crawl as well as over 100 premium rewards. On the battle pass reward line so this is another way that they try to monetize but there's stuff you can do we can keep going free to play here which is with ana6 in play summon 300 units so for ana6 in play i've got to summon 300 units i did the same here with hopkin now you have to win 20 rounds in knockout with him those are my choices basically all right let's uh, go take a look at today's challenges kill 400 enemy units that'll take a, a decently long time but summon 100 units that's very nice so i guess that we can try to um, get some progress on that ana6 quests or mission uh, to summon lots of units and so we'll try to focus on summoners of course here we go don't see summoners in here and still don't see them so um maybe we try insect uh, assassin and then we try to transition into those summoners uh, insect we've got well, while maintaining our insects okay that could be interesting so we're gonna go like that i think for now he's the strongest give him the evasion item uh, put them back a little bit and in fact buy as much time as possible i think uh, that's an upgrade none of these are summoners and that is another upgrade also for the insects oh and then we get the arc warden potentially I don't think I want to lock this down though. There's there's potentially better options out there. Okay, let's see what we got here. They will die. Uh, dragons, <laughs> annoying AOE can be dangerous. Let's hope that we get one, take one down pretty quickly. That's good. Yep, she's down. She didn't get to use her fireballs. And this one did poison us, but we've got plenty of stuff left, so that is good. So a Sand King would of course be perfect here, although it doesn't count as a summoner. And then we try to add in some summons. She now... Broodmother injects her young into an enemy unit, dealing damage if the target is killed. Spiderlings hatch. Interesting. Oh, and we have to do that with Ana6 yeah, on the board. So we are going to take that. Put her behind the spider. And then I'm definitely willing to let go of a couple of these assassins. Um, so that's, that's a summoner. And I think he does like two units at the same time. So I'll take that. And then over here we get a lot of nothing, unfortunately. And if I'm not mistaken, she summons lots of stuff as well. So it could be pretty easy to get uh, to that 100 summoned units. Second round. What are we talking about? Knights. Ooh, hunters. So hopefully my assassins can make quick work of this stuff. Okay. Some AoE, and he's really dangerous. That Terror Blade is still very strong, especially with um, the Hunter when he does like double and triple shots. Ah, and then, god damn it, that shield really saved the game here. But okay, uh, I don't think he used his summons, unfortunately. So let's maybe put him over here. And we have to wait quite a while because these guys are still fighting. So that's 
finally done. Okay. Warlock could still be okay, but yeah, I, I want to get those summoners and uh, we don't get too many good choices. I'm actually going to take the headdress. Um, just try and give a little bit of tankiness around this one. Units once within one cell of uh, the equipped hero gain 20 health per second, so that could be interesting. We do get another summoner, so that is good. Spider comes into play. Disruptor could be nice. Ooh. That's uh, not bad. And then, of course, upgrading the Weaver makes sense as well. All right, a tier 3 at this point is pretty nice. And for now, I'm going to keep my, my three Assassins because at least they crit. And here again, you can clearly see that they're going for the Hunter Metal. So let's hope that we can take that one on quickly with my Assassins. I'm seeing some AoE. Yep, those two are down, but look at that terror blade. He transforms, and my hero is down in no time. Uh, and my spider won't have what it takes to survive this. So, hunters still very, very strong in the meta. What can you do against him? Well, assassins do work uh, against him. If these guys were tier two, it would be quite different. Summoners, eh, honestly, stuff like the terror blade, just two shot stuff. Um, so this is really a bit of a problem at this point, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, then this one is upgraded, that's sort of okay. And we get another one here. Alright, we'll give it a try. And now my summons, which we still haven't seen a lot of them, but maybe the Anasic summons also. Uh, if that big golem gets 20% extra damage. That would be nice. I wonder if it counts as that. They have two tier trees. Okay. At least my spider is doing okay. There's the little wolves that we were looking for. And a six gets taken out before she can use the golem. That is not good news. Get one more summon done. And she's gonna summon... Oh, she actually used uh, Enthrall and got it. All right, down to one heart. Let's see here. Pipe of Insight. I think we can try that and get some extra HP. And yeah, need to get those extra summoners to get all of those bonuses. So let's see if we can get some more tier twos. That's a lot of nothing, but we do have uh, a tier two assassin just like that. Potentially a tier 3, I guess I'll do that. But yeah, this is really bad, right? I need these summoners and they just don't show up anymore. Um, can I survive this round with full tier 2s? Except for my summoners, maybe. So this one is also running something similar. Yeah, summoner at the back here, tier 3. That's gonna take quite a while to try and get through. At least it's good AoE from her, but done already. And yeah. These summons will be far stronger than mine. We won't... Ooh, we just got the golem. But it is already too late. Well, not much we can do. Leave match. And let's take a quick look if we made any progress on this. Yeah. Whoa. It says that I summoned 166 units. I don't think so. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, yeah. All right. That must be a bug. Or it must, like, count uh, for a lot more when it comes to uh, summoning in a knockout game or something like that. Okay. Then we can maybe... How long have we been going? 15 minutes. We still have some more stuff that we can do here, for instance. Win matches against Heartless again to gain control of the district. And then let's see if we've got any um, other challenges to go with him and basically this also functions a little bit as a tutorial of course because here we are talking an npc battle and heartless again we could go knights give that a try knights warlocks is always pretty strong i'm gonna take knights and demons so what i like to do is to put the knights next to each other then in support like that terror blade here so that's tier two doesn't start hitting and then and over here 
Any upgrades? That's a good upgrade. Um, oh, and we still need to... Or well, maybe a tier 2 tree ant to counter that one. I think that's okay to do. And we get another upgrade. So that should be okay. This should be my favor. And that should be decently equal And here at the back. Alright. Let's proceed with combat and see what we can do. No hooks this time to deal with her. But maybe again the terror blades might just make a big difference. And Eno, of course, poisoning the whole enemy team is pretty nice. Should have transformation soonish. There it goes. And then he just has great range and a lot of damage, especially while he's silenced. Uh, still one of the overpowered units, in my opinion. It basically gets a second life because it fully heals whenever uh, it uses its ability and then I mean as a hunter uh, a demon hunter on top of that so it gets a massive damage boost whenever it transforms it silence for a bit but that doesn't matter anymore and then it just keeps um, yeah, firing all those projectiles very quickly so we are going to add more demons because that boosts my damage even more and perhaps a second warlock he did put in a tier 3 that's interesting so for now we're gonna go like this see if we get Maybe a little bit lucky. A lifestealer could be good as well. At least he is upgraded. So that's good news. And that's good. That's really strong as well. And here's another tree and protector. Unfortunately we can't quite get there. Uh, but we'll lock this down. If we lose this uh, matchup because of that tier 3. Then we will see, but let's go. I think he can make a pretty big difference as well. So here it goes. This side will... Oof, man, he's hitting pretty hard. But we're still... We're getting healed because of my th second Warlock. So that was a good choice. Then he's transformed. So it does a lot of damage. And he does huge damage and healing as well. Yeah, some of these demons are pretty good. Very, very easy victory. Let's return to that city crawl. And so here again, we can claim this district. And then we get two of them that are locked behind the battle pass. That's fine. And then we have to acquire or steal 40 items. So that's something that really only this uh, Underlord can do. Uh, so maybe we'll just try one more knockout game as well and uh, specifically play that one with Enno. Why do I like him? Something really tanky like knights so that he can just keep poisoning while your uh, line is maintained. I like that tactic. Um, so we could go brawny with warlocks. That can actually be pretty good. Yeah let's do that. Try to have a decent front line. Okay starting lineup is not that great for my plan. But uh, if we can get some brawnies and maybe some warriors and things like that in the back. Gloves of Haste for Shadow Fiend. Also really powerful. Two Warlocks already. So there's definitely that Silencer. That becomes like my fourth. But then I want to expand my front line with tanky units. Uh, so that's none of this. That's something like that. Um, is gonna be next and I think I prefer him over this one. So we're gonna do this. And I should give Gloves of Haste to uh, the Snapfire because that one's got 110 damage. Uh, on the other hand, Shadow Fiend has a very strong ability, will be a heal that triggers faster. So we're gonna keep it like this. He gets the Knight bonus, gets his shield. That's not good. This is finally down. There's the heal. That's a good stun. Okay. I think we got it on HP here. There we go. So. We got 2.5 kills for Brawny. Their HP should be going up. He can come into play. Gets us to four, and of course we're gonna play with Enno, who will hopefully start stealing a lot of items. Um, this side is fine, I think. Maybe, yeah, this side will be f side will be fine. 
And then we get a double ranger. So I said uh, any... No, brawny. So that's um, really for the silencer. We could go warriors. On this one, Slardar tends to be pretty good. Uh, but for now, I think I need to basically dig. All right, and it gives me double Shadow Shaman. Not what I want. Jesus Christ. Finally, we get the Juggernaut. Um, an upgrade. All right, let's see how this goes. Three ants goes down. My left flank is being attacked quite severely. Here we go. Pretty sure that it's that Shadow Fiend that did help a lot here. Gets the Enthrall. That's more annoying. Can he poison that backline fast enough? Ah. The, Jesus. Super close. The Enthrall making the difference. Alright. Escape Artist. Death Spin Fallout Attack. Hmm. I guess we could try a Dragon Lance. Give that to you for better range. Actually, that's not bad on the Snapfire. I think uh, we could also try to get the line back a bit. At least that's an upgrade. Uh, double punch. I'm not gonna throw that away. And here we get another Snapfire. So, yeah, for now, in these knockout games, I'm not very lucky when it comes to. Um, the hmm, give him 160. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna give him this. Uh, not very lucky when it comes to drawing uh, units, but let's see if he then steals an item or does it have to be so? You always have like two uh, spell focuses, I'm gonna say, for your hero, and this time, yeah, it's not the one with stealing items. All right. That does mean that we'll be in for a tough time, I think. Pretty massive defeat. He has a Juggernaut as well. Alright. Get me a Silencer. So we'll buy you. Put you into play. At least that's an upgrade. I guess a Tusk could be good to start to invest in. There's the silencer as well. What can I do for Buy him now or wait. I think I'll I'll lock this down. We can definitely survive this round. Let's see if the budge makes a big enough def difference for my Eno to have more time. That's one big lineup. Um, Turblade can be a problem, but at least it doesn't have the hunter bonus. Oof. He still has to transform. Yeah, then we're we're done because now he's just gonna tear through things. You can see as long as he silence, he gets massive damage upgrade, and then he's got incredible range. So this is gonna go pretty badly, I think. Can an item make a big difference? Yeah, something like a Vlad's, but there's no way I get that on this losing streak. We do get a mango tree. And then a bell. I, I, we can try that. A little bit of extra healing. We're pretty static, I would say, in um, the way my, my heroes play. So we'll do that. Uh, that's a lot of no. At least that's good. And then we'll just wait. If I survive this round, we've got a tier 2 disruptor that comes into... Although maybe even... Putting the Disruptor here will be better. Can I afford... No. Alright, well, we'll risk it. Let's see if we can win this. Any Ooh, he's got two tier 3 heroes already. That's not good. I need a lot of healing from my mango tree. This is hero is taking a bit of damage. Being silenced. Ooh, the two tier 3s though. They're still up by quite a bit. Massive bombardment. One is down. But yeah. Too bad. Let's see if we stole any items. So we can stop that. We can leave the match. Take a quick look at the city crawl. 
and somehow I did steal three items here. All right, interesting. I'm not exactly sure how all of this uh, works or what it unlocks. You can see that um, some things can be equipped right away and then others uh, not. So this, for instance, I could equip that and then this, uh, which I like actually, it's a pretty cool effect. Can't equip that without like unlocking the battle pass. So there's definitely monetization uh, at this point, but none of it really impacts the actual gameplay or chances to win or anything like that. So definitely cool with it. Um, that's gonna be it for this uh, yeah quick look at the first season for Dota Underlords. We'll be back with something else next week. For now, thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.